When a woman finds herself frantically wolfing down muffin after muffin, or incapable of chewing a stick of gum without counting its calories, or unable to stop herself from binging or purging, or seduced into eating the entire cake, she feels weak and out of control. Like Inanna, she feels her power has eroded. And again, like Inanna, she must take the journey down into her underworld to find her renewed sense of strength. In an ancient Sumerian myth, Inanna, the queen of heaven and earth, decided it was time for her to replenish her powers since she was feeling them waning. She knew that in order to do this, she needed to descend into the underworld. Her people pleaded with her not to do this, for the underworld was ruled by Inanna's vicious sister, Ereshkigal, queen of the great below. It was a very dangerous place, and many of those who journeyed there never returned. Inanna insisted, and so her closest assistant devised a plan to send help in the event that Inanna did not return in three days. Even though Inanna was the queen of heaven, Ereshkigal insisted that she enter the underworld the way everyone else had to, by passing through seven gates. At each gateway, she had to remove a piece of her magnificent regalia and be judged by the gatekeepers. She arrived in the kingdom of the great below, naked and judged by the seven gatekeepers. True to form, Ereshkigal killed her and hung her body on a peg. After three days had passed without Inanna's return, her assistant set in motion a plan to rescue her. When Inanna's parents refused to interfere with the ways of the underworld, Inanna's assistant sought help from Enki, the god of waters and wisdom. Enki sent two little creatures, neither male nor female, both endowed with the gift of empathy to rescue Inanna. The creatures were able to slip through the gates unnoticed, carrying the food and water of life. When they encountered Ereshkigal, they found her mourning the recent death of her husband. The two creatures sat with her in her grief. Ereshkigal was so touched by the empathy they offered and was so grateful for it, since no one before had ever approached her with compassion that she granted them their request for Inanna's body. They took Inanna's body and revived her with the food and water of life, and Inanna returned to her kingdom with her powers fully restored.